but it's also important to mention that May United never made an official bid to PSV Eindhoven because Cody Gakpo was in the list. The relationship with his agents was and is still excellent. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to update you on the transfer market. And today, guys, we discuss about two really important players, two players for present and future, two players that I think I will mention here and on my platforms many and many times in the next months. Cody Gakpo, Jonathan David, let's jump into it together. And so guys, the numbers of these two players, Cody Gakpo and Jonathan David, are really impressing, especially Cody Gakpo in uh, Eredivisie, and then of course in uh, Europa League uh, with the PSV and Oven has been fantastic this season. The number, the amount of opportunities created, also the skills of this player are something else. He seems to be really a top, top player. Uh, we always mention uh, Erling Haaland as the player who is breaking the records, but what Cody Gakpo is doing uh, with PSV and Oven is something really really great and special and the situation has completely changed for Gakpo because during last summer so July August uh, we had mm, and said about Manchester United strong interest in uh, Cody Gakpo it was true also confirmed by the player a few weeks ago in an interview with the Times but it's also important to mention that May United never made an official bid to PSV Eindhoven because Cody Gakpo was in the list the relationship with his agents was and is still excellent excellent relationship between the agents of Cody Gakpo and Manchester United as they are the agents also of Eric Ten Hag but it's important to say as I mentioned never a direct negotiation with PSV Eindhoven because the main priority was Anthony and so they decided to go strong on Anthony and to wait on Cody Gakpo. In the final week of the transfer market Southampton and Leeds tried to sign Cody Gakpo. They were really pushing on this one. Southampton, uh, 24 hours before the deadline day, they tried to push, but then Leeds, in the night before the deadline day, they already had a private flight, a private jet for Cody Gakpo to fly from Holland to England and to have his medical with Leeds. Everything was ready, so Leeds were closing on the deal. Then, as I told you many times, it collapsed. But what happened? That Leeds tried to keep the deal open for January. Leeds are still dreaming of Cody Gakpo. Southampton are still dreaming of Cody Gakpo, but the situation has completely changed because now the feeling around the player and around PSV Eindhoven is that Cody Gakpo will not end up to these clubs like Leeds, Southampton, and that it's going to be probably a different level. So what does it mean? That now top important clubs around Europe, in England especially, but not just in England, are monitoring Cody Gakpo. We said about Manchester United and they are still keep, keeping an eye on him and as I mentioned the relationship with his agency is very good, but also other clubs around Europe are sending their scouts to follow Cody Gakpo. The numbers are incredible, what he's doing is very good and so Cody Gakpo situation has changed and keep an eye on January market because now he will be focused on the World Cup but then right after there is a possibility for PSV to negotiate with European clubs for Cody Gakpo. So let's see what happens in January, if it's not going to be January, could be next summer. And then Jonathan David. He's breaking records in uh, Ligue 1 with um, Lille. He's always been great with Lille, we have to say. Since he joined the club, he's always been in the best goal scorers. Uh, now he's the best goal, scorer, it's goal scorer of the club in Ligue 1. He's beating Eden Hazard, a legend of Lille. And so Jonathan David is doing, again, fantastic with Lille. This season in Ligue 1, he's scoring goals. He's a leader. What he's doing also with Canada national team is something really good. And what's going on, guys? That one year ago, for the January market of 2021, he was in the list at Tottenham, at Arsenal. Then they decided to go for a different kind of strategy in those positions. They decided to go for Gabriel Jesus. Tottenham decided to invest money on different kind of players. But many clubs in Europe are following the situation of Jonathan David. Uh, clubs around Europe, I mean in England, I mean in Germany, I mean in Italy. So many clubs are keeping an eye on this boy because he's always scoring goal. He's super young because he was born in um, uh, 2000 and so it's really impressive what he's doing. He's still 22 and he's scoring a lot of goals and now he will have a big chance at the World Cup like Cody Gakpo with Holland. He will have this chance with Canada. And so Jonathan David, I'm told that 
Soon, many clubs will move and there is a great, great chance for him to make his move in 2023. Let's see if it will be January, let's see if it will be summer, but Jonathan David is expected to leave Lille in 2023 and many clubs are tracking him. So, Jonathan David, Cody Gakpo, keep an eye on those players because the situation has changed for both of them. Now there are really super clubs keeping an eye on them and let's see what happens. And so guys, this is the situation for Cody Gappo and Jonathan David. Let me know your thoughts on these two players. Which one you prefer, David or Gakpo? I wait for your comments. Let me know about your ideas. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on the notification bell every single day. New contents, new videos, and see you soon. Good for Ciao.